So I built this 5 kilowatt lithium iron phosphate battery pack using 16 high star cells uh, to power my remote village where electricity is very unreliable. The poles are there but the power supply not so much. So let me show you how I achieved reliable power backup system and why this DIY solution beats the alternative which are available in the market. Now in my village, power comes and goes. During the winters, like right now, it's very manageable. But summers are a nightmare with only 10 to 12 hours of electricity per day. That's 12 hours of downtime without a reliable backup. Now to address this, I invested in a 6.2 kilowatt go-to hybrid inverter directly from Alibaba. It cost me just 37,000 rupees that includes product price, shipping, and custom duties. Now this inverter is a powerhouse, I would say. It supports direct solar panel input, grid charging, and battery charging simultaneously. Now I had two options for the batteries. First, lead acid batteries, 150 AH battery cost about 12,000 rupees. So I needed four, totaling around 48,000. Now they are bulky, weighing 50 to 60 kg each and they also release corrosive fumes, need maintenance and only last about 3 years or so. Now LFP batteries which was the second option, they are lightweight, maintenance free and last at least 15 in the cycles. However, buying a 5 kilowatt lithium pack from the market would cost somewhere around minimum 70 to 75,000 and it can go to lakhs. That is more than 1.5 times of the price of the lead acid batteries. So I decided to build my own LFP battery pack of 5 kilowatt for much lesser. And here's how I did it. I purchased 16 high star 100 AH cells for 33,000 rupees from a reliable dealer on India Mart. Then comes the BMS. I chose the JBD BMS, Smart BMS 100 amps, A224S, which costed me around 6,500. Then the bus pass, copper bus pass for 1280 rupees and miscellaneous expenses, which includes lugs, tapes, sheets totaling the entire cost was around 45,000 that also includes the wooden box that I built myself even if you hire a carpenter it won't exceed 45,000 rupees budget now assembly was straightforward once everything was connected I added at 63 amp DC MCB for the safety and wired it to the inverter and just like that the system was up and running now when I tested this DIY 5 kilowatt battery pack it delivered 4,900 watts of power at full charge. Now, I don't push it beyond 95% of capacity to ensure a longer life. So charging voltage is only up to 3.5 volts and discharge, I discharge it up to 2.8 volts. Now, these settings can be configured wirelessly through JBD app and also on the inverter side because both the battery and the inverter, they both are smart. So they can communicate with each other also using RS-485 connection. Now, four months in, I've been running the 4 kilowatt load on the system without a hitch. It's efficient, reliable, and smarter than I expected. Plus, the setup is future-proof as I can integrate solar panels directly. Currently, it's running on grid. It's charging from grid. But very soon, as summer approaches, I'll be buying some solar panels and that video will come soon. So, how I integrated it? But for now, this inverter and battery combo are, have been proven as a game changer for remote areas like mine. So this was a video about educating yourself. Like if you are looking for a reliable backup solution in your area and don't know which inverter to go for, what battery should you go for lead acid or LFP? Well, here's the solution. I built it myself. So can you. The parts are available all online and if you want to buy these high star cells, you can go to India Mart and connect with any reliable uh, provider. I'm not promoting here any of the inverter or battery or cells or anything. It's just that I have this thing inside me that I do, I try to do all things, maximum things DIY. So my entire home, all the smart switch and everything is DIY and it's been working really well I know because if anything goes bad I know what's bad and I'm able to fix it without any issue so that's the freedom I like so if you are also one of those who wants this control on your battery packs and don't want to rely on like third parties in case something goes wrong so yeah this was for education purposes if you want to watch the complete video of how I actually built it what are the parts that I've used and the dimension of the box that I've built. Make sure to subscribe to this channel and also hit the thumbs up. I'll be making that video very soon.
Thanks for watching. Have a great day.